1.6 earthquake just at Ridgecrest, California. It's uh, very uh, close to the surface. It's about uh, two miles, three miles down and uh, 6.5 kilometers. And uh, this was uh, just a few minutes ago. And we've had a quake swarm right on top of that 1.3, 1.4 a few minutes later. And uh, I, just I just wanted to check that at the same time that we had 4.6 at Ridgecrest, we had a 3.1 in Hawaii, the same exact time. This is not the first time this has happened. There it is right there. Okay, at uh, 112 UTC. And uh, this one here was at 119 UTC. Okay, so this is, I, when I look at that at Ridgecrest, I do also see what's happening in Hawaii because I notice that many times we have just a few minutes difference. I don't know why that happens. Uh, we know that that's its own mantle plume, but uh, this is a, a different, well, that, that, who knows? They, maybe they haven't found the correlation between that. But look at this. This The red is the past hour. And uh, I just want to go into the, uh, nobody has reported it yet. I guess they're all outside, okay? Uh, it's afternoon there. So let's go to the shake frequencies contours and we'll see the okay these are the that's the garlic fault the san andreas fault hayward fault and the walker lane fault system right there and that's a volcanic area the cause of volcanic field as we know and um let's go to our frequency psa 30 contours 10 contours o3 and you'll see and of course it has shaken Los Angeles as well. And uh, if we pan out a little bit, there's Salinas where the Hayward Fault meets the San Andreas Fault. And the, uh, they stop the, they stop the uh, square right there, but it's very intense as you can see. I wouldn't be surprised if the Bay Area has also shaken because there's a lot of liquefaction soft areas there. And a lot of people do live in that area. Um, liquefaction they don't have here but going back out no, I don't, I'll go back out I'll go back in I should say I should go back in okay this here is the uh, mono lake of the uh, Long Valley caldera I would venture to say Long Valley has also shaken with this has also been shaken with this rattled with this Okay, they stop the uh, they stop the frequent the square of the frequency right there. But all this is, of course, has been shaken. And um, all of you there, please be very careful. It's as we said now happening. Okay, the red, as we said, is just this past hour. And uh, we know that the San Andreas Fault takes up. 75% of the subduction pressure of the Pacific plate, plate under the North American plate and the Walker Lane Fault System takes up the other 25%. And this is the area that has all the high threat volcanoes on the Walker Lane Fault System. And the Garlic Fault is the second largest fault line of California. And the Ridgecrest, as we know, had um, a couple of years back the uh, 6.4 on July 4th, I think, and the 7.1 July 5th. Okay, so all of you there, please be very careful. There's still quake swarms happening there, and that's not a small one. And it's too early for them to report it. Nobody's reported it yet. I guess uh, once they go back in, or, um, oh, shake alert, it must be given after uh, over four magnitude, yes. Shake alert, it was given. Shake alert message issued at uh, 119. Okay, so that people could uh, cover, take cover. Okay, shake alert magnitude, final and peak 7.4.7. 7. And uh, Ridgecrest. And Los Angeles, Los Angeles. about 48 seconds later. 
So uh, they would have felt it in Los Angeles as well. And the shake alert was given, as we saw. So all of you there, please be very careful. This is what it looks like. Please leave your comments and thank you for your support. If you were there and you felt it, please let us know. Kindly support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.